Hiya, welcome to this first lecture. Now, I just wanted to give a, a quick introduction, a quick face-to-face, -face so you can understand how to take the best, how to make the best of this course. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just to give you a little bit of a warning, I should say, which is to say that migrating an Angular JS application is going to be hard work. Now, every Angular JS application is different. Every single one is unique. So this course is just a guide, I suppose. You're definitely, definitely going to be hitting issues which we don't cover in this course. But hopefully, hopefully after taking this course, you'll you're going to have a compass which will guide you to the right answer. Guide you to the right answer after you do your own research. Now, the course is designed so you code along with me. You can't really, you can't really cherry pick lectures you can't do lecture 10 and 5 and 15 you can't do them in that order you are it is the course is designed so you do each lecture in order and, and in order from beginning to end and if you're ever stuck feel free to ask questions but make sure that the first thing you do before you ask a question is to search google i can't tell you the number of times i've seen a question from a student in a discussion and i just take the exact string that they posted I put it into Google and I've just pasted back in the first link that Google's returned back to me. Now, if Google's not returning anything in Stack Overflow, go in, into Stack Overflow and do, do a search in there as well. But do some research to begin with because if you're pasting, if you're asking questions which can be easily found with Stack Overflow and Google, well, that doesn't, that doesn't really get you a lot of help, to be honest with you. And also, please, if you are going to ask a question, don't just put a one-liner in provide as much information as possible. I will never say to you, hey, you put too much information in that question, I didn't need 90% of it. I would much, much rather you put so much information in the initial question and I only need to know 5% of it, that's great. That is the perfect question. There's never too much information to put in a question. If you're gonna be pasting in code, make sure the code is formatted. Make sure you, when you paste it in, you paste it in using the button which formats the code. If you can't figure out how that works, or it, does, or it isn't working properly for you, then at the very least, take a screenshot of the code and paste it in. If you're not comfortable reading unformatted code on the screen, then you, you really can't expect other people to read that unformatted code as well. And you really wanna make it as easy as possible for people to understand your question, for people to read your code in order to get the best answers possible. Now again, feel free to ask any questions in the discussion at all, anything, any help that you need, but I can only really guarantee to be able to help you with questions that relate to the actual course itself, to the course content, or to the specific demo app that we are migrating. If you've got a question related or a problem with your own Angular JS application that you're trying to migrate, feel free to ask the question in the discussions because maybe, maybe I'll be able to help you. Or maybe another student has hit the same problem or has a similar Angular JS application that they need to migrate and they can help you as well. But specifically, I will only be able to guarantee answers for questions or answer issues for questions related to the course content and the demo application itself. So that's it, just wanted to give a quick introduction. Um, enjoy the rest of this course.